another episode of the Urban Homesteading Channel. If you have been here before, welcome back. If today is your first time with us, we want to extend to you a very warm welcome and invite you to watch any of our 550 videos that we have arranged for your convenience in playlists, as we are confident you're going to find something both useful and entertaining to watch. If today is your birthday, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. In today's episode, we're going to discuss one of the most basic tools in the shop, and that is the basic power driver and the two vi variations of this tool. And also we're going to give you some tips and tricks on how to purchase one if you don't have one and what you look at one. So stick around and we're going to dive into drivers. One of the most useful tools that you will have into your workshop is this uh, driver. It has a, a chuck which open and closes. In most of them in the last few decades or so are going to be uh, without a key. But even if you have one with a key, that's fine. And it accepts a variety of bits or drills, drill bits. So you can either fasten uh, screws or nuts or bolts or drill holes to your material. This specific one has two speeds, a clutch that allows you to, to select the, the torque, and of course, a forward and backward button. These are common in most every tool you're going to buy. This one actually is the first one I ever bought. It's a very old Ryobi. You can see it uses the old style batteries. It is 18 volt. And after all these years, it still works fairly well. However, if you don't have one, what you're going to look at? Keep in mind, it is, it much, is much better you buy good accessories versus a very expensive drill. You can go and spend 800, or not eight, $500 to buy a first, first tool drill, or you can go and buy a Black & Decker for $40. Most of the time, this will do everything you need to do in your house, or if you are a maker, this will work fine. If you are a professional, uh, if you make your living with tools, probably this is not the tool you want to buy. Now, this specific tool is fairly good. It has a, a small footprint, so it is very light and comfortable. And uh, it is a 20 volt system. If you can buy a 20 volt, buy a 20 volt, stay away from 12 volt systems. They simply do not have enough uh, power. So a 20 volt system, it is a must, point one. Buy yourself a 20 volt system. Now, if you have no tools, you need to look at what tools you might want to add in your workshop. Is it just the driver that you will buy or later you're going to buy a circular saw, etc. Because if that is the case, you might want to invest first in a kit. Unfortunately, most tools these days comes, come not in a kit, in other words, come without even a battery. So for the $40 you're going to spend, you're going to buy this, which is like buying a car without a steering wheel or tires. It does nothing, right? It has no battery, it, it is not used in any way. It's not useful in any way. So if you have no tools, make sure you buy a kit. As in most cases, a kit is cheaper than will be battery charger and the tool. From the good entry level tools, I'm not going to call them uh, cheap, I'm going to call them inexpensive because to me a cheap tool is a tool that doesn't work well. So from the inexpensive tools available to us, I will definitely buy a rigid. As we mentioned earlier, drivers come in two varieties. This is a simple driver with a chuck, as you can see here, or an impact driver that is distinguishable because it has a, it doesn't have a chuck. It has a, a fast release mechanism hard to do with one hand and it will accept this kind of a, a device this happened to be a hex but you can buy uh, drill bits or any kind of bit in this configuration now what is different of course as you can see the normal driver has a simple uh, insertion which can be used only in these devices it will not lock into a driver Drivers require this kind, the, the tools-free insertion. And it is very interesting because a chuck will accept both. So you can put this to a chuck, as you can see. And without the battery, of course, it won't work. But you can put this in, into a chuck, right? But you cannot put this into a driver. It just will not... In, into a driver, it will not work. It doesn't stay. Make sense? Impact drivers are more powerful 
There's somewhat more torquey. You want to turn this on for a moment to describe? Okay, just turn it on. And I'll turn this on to see the difference in torque. Did you feel the two rotating on your hand? You can even see it here. See? Where this will not rotate. You notice? There's no movement at all. This one has much more torque and also has an impact uh, setting. If you can only afford one, there are various opinions on, on the internet and about makers. If you only have one, I would rather have this one because it will, this will do almost everything you want. You can even remove lug nuts from your car if you change your tires. This on the other hand doesn't have the torque, doesn't have the power to do that. Some people say because this is more powerful, uh, it is not good for a beginning tool. Uh, there is some truth to that. You can uh, strip bolts, you can over tighten things and break them. But if you are careful and you do not go gang ho on it, this is a preferred tool than this in, in my humble opinion. If you have tools already and you're looking for a new tool, just invest on, on something that you have batteries already. For example, I have Ryobis and these are the new, the lithium iron batteries as opposed to the old style. And because I have Ryobis and I have Rigid and I have Black & Decker and I have Cobalt, if I'm looking for a tool, I'm going to see which one is the most economical in any of those platforms because I have plenty of batteries to use. But if it is your first purchase, I would go and look at the whole platform and see what tools you might want down the road and that might be your decision uh, factor. Don't let just price be the decision factor because you can find a cheap tool, an inexpensive tool that works fine, there is nothing wrong with it, but doesn't have enough uh, in, in the line, enough other tools to meet your uh, future needs. What else do we want to say about tools? Uh, the lithium batteries work very well, but unlike the old style batteries, which will drain slowly and you will sense a loss of power, so you will know that you're about to drain and your battery is about to die, this tool will go until it stops. It will stop without warning. It will not it will not drain its power gradually. Uh, and that can be uh, disconcerting. And that's why I always recommend to have more than one battery. If you only have one battery and you're in the middle of a job, you have to wait to battery to charge your battery to continue. Most tools, the Rigid, the Ryobi, and uh, the Heart and the Hercules, actually will charge a battery to full from in about 30 minutes. So that is not extremely bad, but again, you don't want to stop in the middle of what you're doing to charge the battery. In any case, uh, invest your money in buying good quality drill bits and driver bits. A, a driver bit is simply a bit that will allow you to remove any kind of fastener and a drill bit simply makes holes. So that, that's all there is to it. Much better spend your money on this since all the drills today are pretty good in overall quality. Now, if you go to something that is non-branded and it is $19, Unless you do very occasional work, I would say do not buy that tool, like a Hypertech from uh, Walmart. They are very inexpensive, but they're very inexpensive for a reason. Do not buy those tools. Stick with, uh, again, I'm going to list my, my favorites are Ryobi, are Rigid, are uh, Hart, and they are Hercules. Uh, if you do not plan to do a lot of work, a Blank & Decker is very, a very good choice and a fairly inexpensive entry-level tool. I've had that for many years, and. I've yet to have it fail on me, so I cannot say that this is not a good purchase. If you can only buy one, buy a, a driver, but if you can buy two, and often they come in a kit, and in essence you get one of them two free if you buy if you find a good deal. If you can buy two, buy a kit that has both a driver and a drill, and that will allow you the most flexibility in your tools. Well, friends, thank you for joining us today, and we hope that this short video was useful to you if you're looking into getting in, into making or repairing things and you're looking to buy your first uh, power driver. The thing that I neglect to say, you can always buy a, a, a corded one and corded drills and drivers tend to be a little more powerful, but today batteries are so good that you see very little difference and a little profit. However, if you're on a strict budget, a, a corded one will be cheaper for, for very similar uh, quality tool and of course, you won't have to charge your batteries. So that is also an option. If you found this video to have some value to you, please give us a thumbs up. It greatly helps the channel. If you didn't, the other button works as well. 
Share, like, subscribe, and let us know what else you would like to see in future episodes in the Urban Homesteading Channel. From Dr. Wizard, Wizard Jr. and the Urban Homesteading Channel, stay safe, wash your hands, put your masks on, and we're going to see you on the weekend with another video. Stay safe, friends.